first got the part as Hannah Montana, it wasn't that similar. I mean, it was because that's kind of like kind of what I wanted to be, but it wasn't how I was yet. And now I kind of understand it's easier for me to play the part as Hannah Montana and kind of have that double life just because that's kind of what I do too. This is my dad. Hello. How are you? <laughs> well, when I was younger, I used to go on stage with my dad, and that was kind of like, you know, I was working kind of with him, you know, and now he's working with me on my show. It's kind of like we switched around a little bit. You know, he's been touring for a while, and I was always going to school, and so we didn't get to hang out that much. And now it's kind of like he's become like my best friend. His motto is, if you ain't having fun, it ain't working. That's exactly his quote, too. If it ain't having fun, you ain't working. And so he always just, you know, if you're not loving what you're doing, don't do it. It's always, and like, you know, keep it fresh. It's You don't want to do the same thing over and over because that's, you know, it just kind of runs, like, the newness of it all. You want to, like, keep on going and give yourself new challenges. Not just, you know, like, oh, I'm here, I'm here in L.A., I'm doing the show, I'm this, and then give up. Just always kind of get your, you know, what you're aiming for a little higher. Working with Emily is really cool. She's also, like... She lives honestly like two minutes away from me, and so we're always together. And now she's more like my sister. It's not even like a best friend. It's just like my sister, my best friend, my everything right now. Even when we're not shooting the show, like after we're done filming, we go straight to each other's houses and swim in and just even just hanging out. She's like really cool just to be with. Mitchell's fun because he's like always keeping everyone laughing, and you never know what he's gonna do. It's like just so much fun to see what him and Jason pull off while they're together. They're always playing pranks on me and Emily, or pranks on the directors, which is fun. <laughs> Here is a collage I made when I get up and I get bored. This is basically what I do on set. My typical day when we're not on tour is just at set all the time. This is another thing that I do when I'm on break. I try to write some songs for the chef, so this is my guitar. It's more like sitting down and kind of waiting for your turn to go on you know, stage or it to be your scene or this or whatever. and. Usually, you know, on days of the tour, like when we have a concert, it's like you wake up, you go, you never stop until late that night. And on set, it's just a little more like waiting around. Oh, look what we found, Miley, there's me. Being a singer on the show is really cool because my two favorite things are acting and singing, and to get to do them both, it's just so awesome. Once I'm at the concert, from everyone that watches the show, they always know all the words and can really sing along with me. So what you see is only half the story there's another. No, but I'm someone else too. If you only knew, it's a crazy life, but I'm alright. I got everything I've always wanted. Living the dream. Singing's a good way to kind of get out what you're feeling. Can't you see I'm just an ordinary girl? When you're happy, you can put on a little dance song and dance around, and when you're just kind of one to relax, you can put on a little slow song, and so you can listen to the music that goes with your mood. I got everything I've always wanted, living the dream, so yeah. Even, you know, when I am by myself, I'm singing, just kind of getting a cool little rhythm in my head, or, you know, thinking of ideas to write a song or whatever, but I never stop singing. It's the same old thing, the wheel, we're being on tour right now is so much fun, especially like I didn't really know what to expect, but it's just been so awesome just being with my dancers because now they're like, you know, my best friends. We lose the blood behind because that's how cool we are. <laughs> and then also getting to ride on the bus is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, what's up? This is the inside of my bus. My fan bunk, and I'll show you this. This is I got on my very, very first concert date on this Cheetah Girls tour. It's from Seattle, 2006, yes. And this, someone, it's still in a little bag, but someone made me a Build-A-Bear, which is awfully cool. This was thrown up on stage, um, I think in Portland. And this was in, I don't remember but I know that it was a very sweet thing and it reminds me of Snoopy with it. So cute. Then sorry, Daddy, I'm gonna lock in here for five seconds, but I'm gonna yeah, show you, I've gotta show them how cool this door is. Okay, go ahead. But sometimes it gets stuck and I have to like get in the middle and fix it. Dun, 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 dun. You don't even have to do anything. Phew. Phew. 
pretty sweet. These are all the Hannah clothes, actually. So I'll show you probably one of my favorite Hannahs. I've got two. This one, which I just recently got, says just came out at the catwalk. I'm, I'm a model. I'm not, but it's pretty cool. And then, eh, what else is there? This is what I wore the other night. If it's still in here. Uh, no, there it is. I just wore that, which is really cool. And this is one of the signature Hannah things. This is what's in the opening for the concert when I'm coming out and it's all like five, four, counting down. This is what's, I'm wearing my favorite. I, one of my favorites, I think this is definitely probably my favorite. One of them, that one, but this one's cool too. I'm a gold person. I'm a gold, oh, these are probably pretty ridiculous, but these are my little slippers that I'm wearing around. So soft. Everyone says it makes me look like I have like moose feet, but they're comfortable and that's all that matters. And it gets cold, my dad's on the bus. Makes us freezing, so I have to have those. That's my wig. Isn't that nice? Life on the road can be quite crazy sometimes. Being in little tiny little spaces all the time, sleeping up here, moving around. When you got, you know, you get to your hotel at four o'clock in the morning, you got to go into the hotel. This, that. It's pretty crazy, but it, it's awesome when you're just going to be, you know, right here, but with your family and your friends and all that. When they can come out and watch you in concert, which is fun. It's all worth it. It's my favorite spot in the entire bus. All my caffeine, my food up here is like, we have no good food. My mom's like healthy. Look at this, this is nasty. There's really nothing interesting up here. Good mom. Um, let's see what's in here. Just a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna scare my little brother, hold on. Room. He's watching a little spill of the future. <laughs> My brother is, he just like jacks on the show. He's obviously I mean, just nothing. like that. Aunt. He's like nothing, always just, you know, kind of doing the whole prank thing, thing, thing with me and being like, oh, look, we'll everybody. be in the mall. He's like, look, everybody, it's Hannah Montana. Oh, Miley, I didn't Which mean to say like. that. I'm so sorry, you know, and, and whatever. And then he's like calling up his friends. He's like, hey, Miley, you want to talk to this person? All this stuff. He totally like uses it when he's at school. He's like, you know, my sister's Hannah Montana, so if you want to do this for me or whatever. So he kind of like uses it. And then again, he doesn't like it that much because me and him can't really just like, hang out and go out anymore because it's like you know it's always kind of crazy and I'm not also I'm not home as often and so that you know he's like we me and him used to hang out all the time after school we went to the same school he's only a year younger than me and so we've always been together hey, oh there's my brother again he's out of the bed your famous girl scream stop that he doesn't want to admit it but I know he misses me I know it this is my bunk it's sort of kind of clean not necessarily it's my Elvis blanket Remember the king. And then that's my granddad. This is my fuzzy blanket that I sleep with. Oh, okay. This is my little TV. This is really sweet. Everything that we have here moves. We're moving people. When I'm about to go to sleep, I'm gonna lock y'all out. Being there, just kinda like, just getting to sleep and eat the whole time. That's the life. That way. Usually we get there a day ahead and right, me and um, yeah. my girl dancers. The guys don't really like this too much, but we all go shopping, which is really, really fun. And um, it's a good excuse to go shopping because we're like, oh, yeah, what better to do? You know, we don't have anything to do. We're going to be so bored. And then also we're always, like, really, really Mike, loud. And Mike. my mom just wants us, like, gone. So we're not, like, she's just totally, like, wants to sleep once we get there because she's doing just as much as me, running back and forth and helping me get ready and all this stuff. So she just wants to kind of relax. And then me and the dancers are so loud that no one can really like sleep or take naps or whatever. So she would like us out. So that's what we get to do, which is fun. There's Mandy, another dancer. Hello. Backstage, I get ready to do my concerts by actually not thinking about the concert because otherwise I get very, very nervous. You see the resemblance? Yeah, you know. Okay, yeah, that's the wig. And once you start thinking about the show and what all you gotta do, you're like, oh my gosh, well, what if this goes wrong? What if I'm gonna do there? And all this stuff. So I try to just like kind of get my mind off of it. The day of the concert, usually we get there, or you know, sometime in the afternoon. We do sound check, then we all go to lunch. Then right after lunch, we go get ready. We do hair and makeup, get our wardrobe on or whatever. And then usually we try to do that as quick as possible, so we have at least like 10 or 15 minutes just to chill out and remember like what all we have to do. Yo, what's up? 
putting on my bling, getting ready to go out for the show, get all purdied up so I look good on stage. Here we go, just final touches. And then also have five minutes to totally get your mind off of it and just, you know, kind of talk to your friends so you're relaxed. That's the resemblance right there. Getting ready to do a concert is a lot more different than doing the show because it's a little bit more rushed because the show, if you're late, you know, you can, you know, just be like, oh, well, we just can't do this as many times. That, the show must start at a certain, you know, time. There's no, like, waiting around. Like, if you're on set, you don't, you know, there's a time that you're supposed to be there, but if you're not, they can find a way to kind of work around it. And, or say, you know, we'll finish it up the next day. You can't do that in a concert. You gotta make every concert like your first concert where, you know, the bar is really high and you wanna get there. And then after that first concert, you just get kind of more comfortable with it, but you can't slouch off. Not real fur. I get pretty darn nervous. <laughs> what did we do yesterday, Mom? What was that thing we were doing? Right before my mom's like, oh my gosh, totally freaking out, even more than I am because she's thinking that I'm gonna, like, you know, psych myself out so much that I'm not gonna be able to go on stage. We have a kind of like a little joke we always say like right before we go. It's kind of like a cheerleader type thing and we're like five, six, seven, eight, pop off. We don't really even know what it means. It just like means kind of like go. So right before our concerts, we, me and the dancers, we all put our hands in. We go one, one two, two, three, pop off. And that's kind of like our way it says, you know, like, let's go. Let's all have a great show. Stage. Before our concerts, there's like a video that's shown of me, like, you know, I'm walking out onto the stage. That's kind of when they get pumped because they're like, oh, here comes Hannah, you know. But then we put up also like this sheet over me and the light hits it so all you can see is the shadow. And that's when they really go crazy is because they're just screaming because they know like Hannah Montana, who they've been watching every night, is right there in front of them. It's cool because, you know, you hear everyone screaming, you know, they're all there like cheering for you and they're all there to watch you and wishing that you have a good show and just really into the music and feeling the same thing you're feeling when the songs are on, so it's really cool. For me, once I'm on stage, is like the best feeling. You get more nervous right before than when you're on stage, you kind of feel more comfortable because you're like, oh my gosh, all these people are here, you know, for me and here to like cheer me on. When I'm singing, I kind of just think, you know, what the lyrics and what the song's about. And if you just kind of imagine, you know, like what that song like means to you and what it's saying to me to you, you really just get more like into it and it's easier to, you know, get to run around and have fun because you're thinking about, you know, like how much fun it is to be singing the songs that mean a lot to you. Probably my fans' favorite songs, Best of Both Worlds. They know that the best, and they're all doing the dance with me. And also, kind of in the middle of the part, even on the track, you hear fans in the background chanting along with me. You get the best of both worlds. Chill it, I'll take it slow. Then you rock out the show. You get the best of both worlds. So I hold out the microphone, and they get to sing part of the song with me, which is cool. The best of both. You know the best of both. My favorite songs to perform are I Got Nerve and Just Like You. In concert, I Got Nerve is our very first song, and so that's when all of us, like all the dancers and me, come out, and that's like the intro. I know what you like, I know what you think. Not afraid to stare you down and tell you blink. It's everything I see, every part of me. Gotta get what I deserve. I got nerve, you. You need to discover. I Got Nerve is my favorite song because it's just like one of those songs where you can just like dance around and just have a good time. And it's really fun to see kind of like all the guitars and all this and that. It's more like a rockin' song. And it's just really fun like to be in your car and be singing loud too. And it's such a good song for more than one person to sing it because there's like so many backgrounds saying yeahs and all that stuff. You can make it kind of like a little group. But this girl just wants to rock. I'm individual, I'm not like anyone. I can be glad. Who said is a lot of fun? 
because none of the choruses or anything are the same. They always, you know, change it up whether it's saying like Superman or President and there's like 10 feet tall. None of them are the same. Like cool, you gotta you get to say all these different messages. I'm a lucky girl whose dreams came true. But underneath it all, I'm just like you. Just like you is another one of my favorites because it's kind of like it's more Miley Cyrus saying, you know, like I'm just like a normal kid and I like to, you know, do all the things that you do. And even though I'm up here and you see like, you know, the the wig and the makeup and all this and all the fancy clothes after you know once it's the show's over i'm just like anybody else living in an extraordinary world trying to live trying to learn trying to just be who i am who i am i got The other side of me is a cool song because it's like, you know, some people don't understand how hard it is to make people know, you know, that you're just like them and they don't understand how hard it is to still like blend in and just be with your friends and be a normal kid. is a cool song because it's like kind of like this girl thinking about what she wish it could be like with this you know guy she likes that he know how much she likes him and not talking about all these girls that he likes on the stuff and know how she's kind of saying to herself if only he could know what I was really feeling I get so comfortable being up there and like me and my fans are just having such a good time are kind of like friends. I start to space out a little bit. My mind's like totally on something else or whatever. And it is kind of like whatever the song makes me think of, I'm thinking of that and not really like, okay, I'm in front of 10,000 people right now and I've got to stay focused on this. But you know, you just start thinking about what happened before and what you got to do next and all this stuff. And so sometimes your mind is, you know, starts going and then finally like, oh yeah, I'm on stage. I got to, I got to focus on this. Yeah. Take the world, shake and stir, and that's what I got going on. I throw my 
This is the live is kind of explaining what Hannah Montana is feeling, kind of like just wanting all her fans to know that she's loving what she's doing and like, you know, thanking them for all the support. Of a cool song, so they kind of know like how much she loves what she's doing. Party is one of my favorites to perform and to listen to because it's really fun just to dance to. When we perform it, it's all the girls and they just come out and have a good time and there's like silly string that's being sprayed all over the crowd and all this stuff. It's really, really fun. Best Both World is a really cool song because it's also the theme song of the show. It's really you, but no one ever discovers. We end our concerts in that, and that's kind of when everybody's like out of their seats and clapping their hands and dancing along with me. But once I'm off stage, the night's still not over. You still got to go meet and greet. My fans are so much fun, especially when I'm performing and getting to meet them after a concert. Hi. What's your name? Hi. Hi, Tyler. What's your name? Mayan. Nice to meet you. There you go, guys. No problem. Thank you so much. After a concert, their energy's up, and it's just so much fun. They can kind of tell you, you know what they liked about the concert and their favorite part and all this stuff. So it's good to kind of hear their feedback and see what they thought about it. Okay, I've got that done. That went well. You know, unless like sometimes you're like, man, I wish I could do it again so I could fix this, or this wasn't right, or this went really good, but then that messed up afterwards. So like, there's just like a thousand things you're kind of like going through because when you're on stage, you don't really think about what all happened, but then afterwards, you kind of think of like, you kind of remember what happened or what messed up or what was awesome, and you're like, we got to remember that for the next show. Being famous kind of changes your life like with everything. It's a little bit different because you can't just go out with your friends and you know, just you know, whether you're having a bad hair day or whatever, someone's definitely gonna see you, you know? 
and then you know having that schedule of getting up going to set you kind of have this you know kind of well definitely a different routine and you just kind of get you know get into like that, that vibe of knowing you know this is all worth like a great episode or it's going to be a great show that's why there's so many hard rehearsals and all this stuff <laughs> say I look smaller on TV that I'm only like this big and they don't understand that I'm like a real person. <laughs> they, don't like, they don't like get that. The moment I knew I was famous was when I couldn't like go out of the house without like a million people. And yeah, people chasing the bus. That's probably the one where I know I was like, oh, this is, I'm really on tour. Me and the dancers, we're all in the back of the bus and we're waving out the window and that was really cool. When people started recognizing me from the show was actually the day after it premiered, I was um, at like this fair and we were about to go on some water ride and there was like eight girls that were having like some type of party or you know whatever they were all together and finally they started saying Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana and at first I was like oh you know kind of whatever you know there's someone here that's cool and I was kind of looking around for like the star myself I was like oh sweet someone's here and then they were talking about me I was like oh that's weird and they were like you know are you Miley Cyrus this or that I was like okay this is really really cool I've fallen down the red carpet a couple times um, I had on like these really cool heels and they were really high. They're one of the highest things like ever. And so I'm out there and I'm like, I'm like, okay, you know, I get kind of relaxed in these things. I do not know what brought me down, but I just like fell completely flat. And then for a while, you know, you're kind of like, all right, maybe that didn't just happen. It was still really embarrassing just everyone being around saying, you you always have that like, you know, little thing in your head, like, you know, when kids are in this situation, they're going to do what, what I do or whatever. So like, it teaches you to get in that of being like a good role model, which is good. But then also it's like, you know, when something does happen, you know, or, you know, like an embarrassing moment, everyone knows about it. And that's kind of hard. I don't really know what's going to happen in the future. What's up? Hopefully I'm still acting and singing because this is what I love to do. And if I could do this, you know, forever and just be doing, you know, like wake up every day, getting to do what I love, that would be awesome. The message that I want to send is, you know, whether you come to a concert or you watch the show or, you know, whatever, I mean, you just see like an interview of me or something, I want them to know that, you know, like, believe in yourself and follow your dreams. What you want to do, you can do. See